ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರು ನಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರು ವದಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರು ಸ್ಮರಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರು ಭಜಿ by the grace of universal master various named in all the countries by the different different names but in india the greatest name of the universal master is satchidanand param we are taking the sixth verse of shrimat bhagavat gita chapter 3 karme indriyani sanyamya cha aste manasa asmaran ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾತ್ಮ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಚಾರಸ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಕರ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣಿ ಸಂಯಮ್ಯ ಯ ಆಸ್ತೆ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾತ್ಮ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾಚಾರ ಸ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣಿ ಆಲ್ ದ sensory organs sap sanyamya suppressing by forcefully yah it means doj person aste it means living and uh, manasa by the mind smaran thinking about the sensory organs hungers indriya arthan about the sensory organs subject bimud atma the greatest fool of this world person mithya chara making the wrong propaganda with his ego shows and is pride unnecessary so that uchate it means subtles those extremely foolish person control their sensory organs by the force of fury on their activities and the actions and thinking about the all sensory organs hungers or any sensory or of hungers in the mind the krishna is telling that is the wrong way that is the mithya chara that is the dambi that is the the person who is 
only and only showing his ego to others that is not a real seeker and Krishna is giving the bad name of that person the Bimur Atma it means his all consciousness flows to the foolishness my dear friend The Sadguru Sachidananda Paramatma, the master of millions of galaxies, uncountable, and the brilliance of the universes. The only and only installation, love, consciousness, life, awareness, and presence, existence. He is telling to the Arjuna. The same thing I tell many, many times to you. And the Krishna is also criticizing very hard word about the karma kandis, about the fake yogis, about the shower yogis, about the doing technique of samadhi and in attracting the other person, about that person they are suppressing their sensory organs by many many ways even some person doing unnecessary fasting unnecessary chanting pilgrimage showing actions to the others crushing the sensory organs by many many type That type of Hatha Yogi, the Krishna is appointing all the Hatha Yogi of this world by this stranger. Because the persons are full, extremely full, because they do not know the real secret of yoga or meditation or any type of practice. They are doing the wrong practices in the name of the spirituality. My dear friend, this is the internal dhong. Satyavad, what is the meaning of dhong? One may be pretension. One word is pretension or the showing the adversity and being the adverse. This is the dual personality. You are not that but you are showing that. You are something other and you are not showing. That the doing dual personality. So the pretending, uh, my dear friends, the Arjun is not like a foolish but Krishna is telling this Gita for the universal seekers so he is describing everything every aspect every dimension Krishna is telling that is a foolish person and those do not know the real secret of the teaching of the masters and they follow the periphery, they follow only word, they take the uh, meaning wrongly of the master's teaching. And they are come with their ego and they want to show their spirituality, they want to show their divinity, they want to show their goodness, they want to show their holiness, they want to show their journey as a pride, as a ego, as a propaganda. So, for the showing all this, even you are doing a pure life, a pure function, good function, but you are showing to the others only an internal side. You are thinking about the wrong things. Internally, you are greedy for money. 
money. Internally, you are very unpleasant person. But outernal, you are showing that you are a very pleasant person. And outer, you are showing the many, many mode of the spiritual practice. You are laying on the nails. You are sitting between the fire. You are standing in the water in the uh, winter. You are standing on one feet. One foot. Feet. Uh, one foot. And you are standing as a Shishasan. And you are doing, uh, you are uh, digging a uh, deep uh, pit and sitting in the, the, that pit, covered all the mud. So these are the activities, these all the actions, they are called Hatha Yoga. And Krishna is opposing this Hatha Yoga in the strong words. They are give, the Krishna is giving the bad name of that type person and that is called uh, Bimud Atma. It means uh, completely fool person. My dear friend, I also come from this type of practices in the previous uh, uh, practices in my some gurus when my journey is start. They are forcefully close the eyes and and say we, they are doing the meditation they are closing the eyes outside and inner side they are seeing the drama and video of any lust or any type of greed or any type of revenge or any type of uh, dream the person is closing his nose Sometime for the pranayama, but he cannot stand in this closing of nose. He want to kill their sensibility of the skin and put on the skin the look barm ash. He cut his tongue for the khechri mudra. And taking the tongue to the Rasadanta Viva, he putting, he making a hole on the tongue by the name of the religion. A person I see in the in the in an ashram in Haridwar. He was putting continuously his hand up and he is become the permanently handicapped person. In very beginning he was, he has two hands very nicely, equal, strong and very good. But he put a hand upside and the nails become grow and hand become lean and thin like a piece of a wood. And the person was worship that uh, uh, hand up, up hand persons uh, and the fools they are giving the money and putting the fruits uh, and the coconuts uh, and lay down in front of that person and I know that person only have this quality he is upping, upping on hand and he has no any medi meditation no spiritual knowledge no any type of good quality of awareness So, not in, in this uh, culture, in all the culture person do many many type of the foolishness in even religion, every religion. So, my dear friend, the Sadhguru is telling here, in this type of activities, this type of actions, they have no any relation with the path of awareness with the path of enlightenment. These are all only the foolishness. These are only the tool to impress other persons. These are only to attract their clients for taking money. These are only they do for 
for proof that they are superior than you. This is the ego representation. This is the ego demonstration. My dear friend, the Krishna is telling more keen thing here. That they are doing the activities of the rigid yoga, hatha yoga, forceful yoga, but they cannot stop their thoughts. Their thoughts is going on like a blind person. I want to say very clearly, they are thinking about the women's and lust. They are thinking about the money. They are thinking about the conspiracies. They are thinking about the tricks. They are thinking about the fulfilling their sensory organs, instrumentation and lust and uh, pleasure. My dear friend, all of you see the donkey. And if you do not see the donkey, please see the donkey. Donkey also do the meditation. And when the donkey do the meditation, his body react in a particular manner. Automatically. So my dear friend, donkey doing meditation with the standing stage. My dear Gyananji says, my Sadhguru Gyananji says that the sannyasi, somebody sent me, says, that the sannyasi they are only the name of the sannyasi. My Sadhguru Gyananji says. Actually, they are meditating on the sensory organs door. So they are not sannyasi, they are sandasi. And the Hindi speaking person can easily understand what is the meaning of the sandasi. My dear friend, they, their mind full of the dirt and dust of the desires, attractions, goods, wishes, and many, many things. They are thinking about the money. They are thinking about the lands. They are thinking about the cars. They are thinking about many, many things. That is not meditation and that is not spirituality. So Krishna is completely opposing this type of fake activity in the name of the religion. So the Krishna Tell that is the mithyachara, that is the wrong behavior, that is the fake behavior, that is the false behavior. And that uh, cause the worldly persons think that uh, all the sannyasis are fraud like that. And sometimes the master, sometimes the real masters, they are also abused by the bad names by some blind persons. My dear friend, the real masters are not fraud. The fraud they, that persons, they are showing their spiritual practices, outside practices, rigid practices, pressurized practices, abnormal practices to attract the client for money, goods and sensory organs satisfaction. So that called a dambhi, that called the Bimud Atma, because they do not know about anything for the soul, about the existence, they are only and only oriented to the society, impression or attraction or gathering the person or accumulation the money. So my dear, they are the true seekers. The uh, persons they want to seek the God, they caught in their conspiracies 
and because they have no real master and they may be stop and waste some time with this type of masters my dear friend the kavir also criticize kavir also criticize this type of persons kavir says man na rangayo rangaye yogi kapda your mind your intellect your mood your ego is not detach from your consciousness your consciousness is submerged in your mind intellect mood and ego and you are living like a fool person and you are bearing the orange cloth i want to say my dear friend the orange cloth is the greatest color of the world and no lusty person have right to bear this orange cloth no greedy person is right to bear this cloth no loveless person right to bear this cloth no unaware person is right to bear this cloth this is this cloth is only for enlightened masters not for the sexual mischief mongers they are wearing this cloth and spreading the lust is spreading the free relationship all over the world in the name of the religion in the name of the spirituality the krishna is opposing this type of activity because the orange cloth is the representation of a pure and purest consciousness and awareness and orange cloth only can bear the enlightened master my dear friend kavir says man na rangayo rangayo yogi kapda kavir says mud mudaye har mile har koi le mudaye and if you are living the clean safe chakan guttu there is no air hair on your face and your head that is also cannot give you the enlightenment because the sheep always shaved by the shepherd for the bull but she is not enlightened kavir says chalti chaki dekh ke diya kavira roe this is the maya is crushing everyone by his two polar round activities by polar round activities only and only the satguru can save you the satguru and the kabir says bahan dhoon dhoon ja mara you are searching outside and you are spoiling your life kabir says ka kar pathar jod ke and you are all the holy places they are made by the stones and the bricks but your mind never become holy kabir says maya ma thagni hum jaani this is the maya this is the illusion of the nature that is the complete wrongness and complete cheater and complete wrong so my dear friend kabir always criticize and cut the wrong practices in the name of the religion he always criticize and cut the dambha and the propaganda in the name of the religion so the same thing dadu says that was the great guru the same thing the paltu says he was the great guru the same thing guru nanak says same thing the ravidas says the same thing all many many saints says in their teachings and description but this society is as it is blind for from the thousand thousand years they are not listening the masters teaching they are uh, listening only the fake masters teaching and they are accepting the artificial activities in the name of the religion they are give up their consciousness and awareness and they are accepting the sleepy and unconscious condition in the name of the religion or spirituality 
So my dear friend, this stanza was a very, very precious stanza. This stanza is a very, very awaring stanza. This stanza is giving you the negative instructions for the positive direction. This stanza is awaring you to go in the wrong path. Do not go in the wrong path. So that's why my dear friend, you are all the doing sensory organ karmendriya. If you do the control on karmendriya, that is not enough in this path of a spiritual journey. Because the king of your all sensory organs, ten organs, that is your mind. And your mind is made by the thoughts and your thoughts is uncountable and irregular and there is no principle in your thoughts and there is no discipline in your thoughts and nobody can make discipline in the thoughts and your thoughts is divided in the two parts one is the sankalpa and second is the vikalpa the sankalpa is it comes by your many many desires and many many type of gaining something and vikalpa that is the decision they want to give you the direction how can you achieve the sensory organ hungers are their subjects so the sankalpa and vikalpa both are thoughts and thoughts are not true thoughts is like an illusion Thoughts is the maya. Thoughts is the root cause of all pain and unpleasant condition. Thought is the root cause of your tension. Thought is breaking your consciousness. Thought is giving you penthasm. Thoughts is giving you mesmerism. Thoughts is making you unconsciousness. Thoughts you pulling you a thrust for the maya. Thoughts is pushing you in unwanted activities and actions. So my dear friend, you must be detached from the thoughts by the Sakshi meditation of awareness. Thoughts is the waves of the darkness unknowing. So my dear friend, Thoughts is the kidnapper of your consciousness and awareness. Thoughts is making you like a jiva. Thoughts is making you like a slave of the maya, puppet of the maya, prisoner of the maya. And maya is kicking on your back, on your hips again and again. And you are laughing because you are the puppet of the maya. So my dear friend, and this is the consequence of the illusion of the maya of the ajnana and that is completely kidnap your consciousness of awareness. So the Krishna is telling that type of person is a bimura, b it means a special type, muda it means a fool. This is the lowest category of the foolishness in this world. By this type of sankalpas and vikalpas, that they comes as a flood in your mind. They comes as a storm in your mind. They comes as a thunder in your mind. They comes as a volcano in your mind. They comes in a in a tornado, like a tornado in your mind. So you are float flowing on the thoughts like a piece of a grass and there is no any destination when where where will you go you will be go in the lowest category of the birth or you will be go in the hellly birth or you will be go in a stony type of birth and you will be go like a tree or bird or insect or cattle even anything so these thoughts are the greatest downfall of your life and consciousness so i want to Pull out your consciousness from the thoughts. I want to aware you in the thoughts and that is the Sakshi meditation of awareness. 
my dear friend do not stop in the ever in the awareness of the thoughts there is a many many steps uh, before the enlightenment and only i knows in this world i am telling correctly because i know there is no any master can awake you completely as i can awake you so please i am telling my own introduction that is not ego because this is the declaration if you want to aware completely if you want to know the enlightenment if you want to know the liberation if you want to know the atma gyana you must be stay with me all the life not a time duration program all the life when you stay with me all the life then you can introduce with your inner fact or inner true truth otherwise you will be never introduced with that extreme truth of liberation and being an existence and you cannot stand in the complete awareness of last destination of liberation and freedom total freedom of awareness so my dear friend the krishna is criticizing in this stanza about the fake and wrong activities in the name of the religion and if you do not follow the sadguru if you do not love the sadguru if you do not surrender in the feet of the sadguru if you do not flow your life energy to the sadguru my dear friend excuse me you cannot aware so by the verdicts by the voice by the behavior by the standards why your resistness why your impressions why your culture that all will become untrue when you will become enlightenment because these are all the in the sector of the maya my dear friend the person all the life never introduced with the truth from his childhood to the death he lives like a innocent child he play with the toys of the maya the woman is toys for the man the man is toys for woman the money is the toys for the man the buildings cars and the every desires and every your accommodities and every your achievement they are all toys because maya providing you toys for play and you never give a, 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 a attention for awareness so the all the persons in the name of uh, spirituality and divinity they are playing with the tools of the maya and uh, making fool to other also my dear friend this is the greatest sin of the world if you are not enlightened you please no, do not take the uh, responsibility of other seekers so the sadguru says this world is the opposite sach kahu to maran dhave jhoote jag pate hai if you will tell truth person will want to be kill you and if you uh, tell um, false or if you tell fake or if you tell untruth that person will give you response and give you everything and give you admiration and give you the priority and that's why the wrong gurus the wrong monks and the wrong persons they have lot of disciples they have millions of disciples because they are providing everything according to their mind intellect mood and ego and they are giving that spiritual practices the wrong spiritual practices for satisfaction of their sensory organs hunger my dear friend the every type of disciples they have i see many gurus they have the disciples 
of every type, sir, but they are not good gurus because they are uh, having the smoker disciples of the uh, drugs, they have the drinker disciples, they have the physical relationship making disciples, they have the cheater disciples, they have the criminal disciples, they have many many type disciples. So the disciples also accept them, they are permitted to do anything of, of them, to them, but the, the great master cannot permit you to do anything wrong. So my dear friend, please come out from this the conspiracy of the mind, intellect, mood and ego. The person is not wrong, but their blindness is wrong. Their mind is wrong. Their intellect is wrong. Their mood is wrong. Their ego is very, very blind making agency so that is all maya please come in the sakshi meditation of awareness please stand this precious and divine place then you can see the truth from this highest platform under this world is all fake and your existence is only truth. My dear friend, I am inviting you in the journey of the truth. I am inviting you in the real spirituality and real, uh, real awareness. My dear friend, that was the secret meaning of this stanza. Please, my dear friend, you do this meditation of awareness and take the advantage. You will be get good health, good mental health good emotional health and you will be get peace and then I want uh, uh, do not say in this uh, uh, discourse uh, all these things the benefit of meditation you can uh, hear the benefit of meditation in the previous discourse thank you very much my dear love you very much I want to say please subscribe my channel on YouTube and uh, um, our next program is 24 July in Delhi there is meditation camp 13 November in uh, New Jersey and 20 uh, sorry and 17 November in uh, Puerto Rico and uh, 22 November in Puerto Rico and 25 November in New York there they are all international meditation camp and 18 and 19 November there will be a seminar in the Puerto Rico. Thank you Puerto Rico. Thank you USA. Thank you my lover. Thank you my seekers. Thank you my well-wishers. And this is the finish of this course. Love you very much. Bless you very much.